My name is Alexandra Balcom and I'm currently a fourth grade teacher at Shakura Elementary School. I am a teacher because I believe in the power of education. I believe that education is the most powerful tool that a person can have and I personally love learning and found that the more I learn in my life, the more doors that have opened for me. So I wanted to instill that in as many children as possible. Teaching at Shakura is extraordinary to me because of the students here and my coworkers. The students here have a tenacity and a dedication and a love that mirrors the adults in the building that also are very dedicated to their students' learning. Um, teaching is going to be rewarding and challenging no matter what school you're at, but I find Shakura to be really extraordinary because it's a place that I'm given an opportunity to move students multiple grade levels in one school year. And there's no better feeling than having a child come to you below grade level in August and leave above grade level in June. Um, and I find that to be extraordinary for the child and for myself and how it feels. Um, and how the co-workers in the building all the adults here are extraordinary people that I get to teach alongside every single day. And no matter what anybody has going on in their own personal lives outside of Shakura, when they come here in the morning, they leave everything at the door and give every single ounce of them to their children, to their instructional practice, and to making sure that their children are happy and safe every single day. Every child, no matter what their circumstances are, deserve a fair chance at life. And I believe that literacy is the foundation for them to have that chance. And I know that being a teacher, I have the opportunity to give students that chance by delivering high quality literacy instruction every single day. And I decided to change my profession. Out of college, I was working 60 hours in a cubicle doing internal auditing at Wells Fargo. And I remember asking myself, do I really want to do this for the next 50 years of my life? And the answer was no. I felt like I was not being challenged enough and I was not able to continue my passion for learning on a day-to-day -day basis. And I was not contributing to society in any way. So I quit my job and I came to Charleston. And I reflected a lot on the question of, if I have to get up and go to work every day, what am I going to love getting up to go do? I thought about what brings me the most joy in life. And up until that point, it's learning um, and being educated myself. So that's kind of how I came to the idea of switching to become a teacher. I maintain high expectations for my students by believing in them. And that's what it comes down to. I believe in my students and I believe in their abilities. Even when they don't believe in themselves, I work every single day to make sure that they learn to understand how incredible they actually are. And I think that consistency is also something that is incredibly important. Um, I make sure to be very consistent in the language I use every single day. And even though sometimes it feels really repetitive, um, come April to repeat things and expectations, um, it's very important to continue to repeat your expectations every single day with the same language. And that way they're never presented with any surprises. They know what to expect and that allows them to operate in an environment that sets them up for success. And when students know what to expect, there's less nervousness throughout the day. They know that they're safe and they know what the outcome is for their actions and their choices. Also, I think the biggest thing is having relationships with your students. If you, you have to build a relationship with each individual student. Um, because students are going to be more willing to do the hard work in the lessons. They're going to be more willing to listen to you when you try to have restorative conversations with them if you have a relationship with them. And that yields the greatest social, emotional, behavioral, academic results is when expectations are very high and students know that you are not going to lower them no matter what. Um, and they will meet your expectations because you have built that relationship and they, they know that you love them and they want to 
do the right thing for you as well. And I think it's important that I never lower the expectations for kindness, respect, and hard work. And I think everything that I try to teach my students from the curriculum to, you know, being members of a community, it all falls into kindness, respect, and hard work. Working in an acceleration school has been the greatest learning experience of my entire life, but it is definitely not without its challenges. I mean, we have very high expectations put on us to move students academically. We are required to often take students from a wide range of abilities in one room. We have kids that are, you know, a couple grade levels below or a couple grades level, levels above, and they're all in the same classroom. And we need to make sure that every single day we are academically scaffolding when, when needed, uh, enriching when appropriate, and meeting the needs of all of them at the same time while continuing to uphold the curriculum and implement it with fidelity and equity. That part is definitely, can be challenging sometimes. However, I think also it's important to acknowledge that at an acceleration school, you have to want to be here. And that want and remembering your why is what's going to get you through when things might be challenging. You have to be willing to build a relationship with every single one of your students and not just acknowledge your role as their educator, but you need to be able to understand the entire child as a whole. And from that, you can make sure that their safety needs and their psychological needs are met every single day. You can't meet those basic needs if you don't know the child for who they are far past just their reading levels, you know, or what they score on tests. You need to know who they are inside, and then you can meet those basic needs every single day. And once the child feels safe at school and in your classroom and in your care, and they feel that their psychological needs are being met, then they're able to kind of start developing a sense of belongingness in your classroom, and they find their place amongst their peers. And from that, they start to build their self-esteem, and then the learning can come. So it's important to know that you can't expect the student to come into the classroom on day one and be ready to learn. Because we, I, it's my job as the adult in the building to build that relationship with that child so they feel safe and ready to learn. And I think in order to be successful, you have to stick with it every single day. Um, and it, as the adult, you can't give up on any child. You have to be willing to find something to connect with every single child with. Students don't learn from people they don't like. <laughs> so it's really important that you make your children feel seen, heard, respected. Respected is a big one. Um, and when they feel seen, heard, loved, respected, they're going to be willing to put in the work academically, to be more willing to develop their, you know, social emotional skills from you. They, are more apt to listen to you when they know that you respect them and you love them.